To begin, we will uh, click on the Start menu, navigate to Settings, Control Panel, click on the Control Panel, and we will navigate and double click on our iTools icon. This brings up the Registry Settings iTools configuration screen. From here, we will click on the uh, TCP IP heading. From here, we will click on Add. Now we just need to give this connection a name. For uh, example, we will give it NanoDAC. From here, we click on Add. Now we put in the actual IP address that we've given the NanoDAC on our network which is 192.168.1.60. Click OK. And then click OK. You will notice in the uh, window here, you'll see the name that we gave it, NanoDAC. The connection is Modbus TCP. The address is 192.168.1.60, and the remote port is 502, and it is checked off. From here, we can click Apply and OK. We can close or minimize the control panel. Now we'll navigate to our desktop where we have our iTools uh, icon, or you can get to it simply by going to Start, Programs, Eurotherm, and iTools Engineering Studio. Double click on the icon. And that will bring the Eurotherm iTools software uh, up on the screen. And because, we, because we've already uh, set up the TCP IP port, as soon as we click scan, if everything is successful, and once again, uh, we're going to just scan from address 1 to 1 uh, for the, uh, uh, with the radio button checked for scan device address. If everything goes well, it will find the recorder on our network. And, and there it is right there. Notice NanoDAC 192, 168, 160, 502, ID 001, and it's synchronizing. We'll just wait for it to finish synchronizing. And then the NanoDAC is available in iTools for you to configure to your particular application. This is the end of this tutorial.